One of the greatest philosophical jousts Great Britain has ever witnessed took place between Edmund Burke and Thomas Paine. United in their support for the American Revolution, they were divided by the French. The question, should political change be brought about by reform or revolution? In his Reflections on the Revolution in France, Burke accepted that the old regime had serious faults, but questioned whether it was really incapable or undeserving of the chance of reform. Revolution, he cautioned, was the very last resource of the thinking and the good. Paine responded in The Rights of Man that profoundly corrupt regimes were incapable of mending themselves and needed to be replaced. When despotism has established itself for ages in a country, as in France, the original hereditary despotism, resident in the person of the king, divides and subdivides itself into a thousand shapes and forms. In other words, the regime is rotten to the core. Was it an absolute necessity though, Burke asked, that the whole fabric should be at once pulled down? And with that, the political tradition, experience and institutions that could best realize reform. Have these gentlemen never heard of anything between the despotism of the monarch and the despotism of the multitude? It is with them a war or a revolution or it is nothing. I do not like to see anything destroyed. Paine believed that what really mattered was what revolutions build not what they tore down. People in every nation, Paine argues, must throw off the old governments that burden them, revealing society's natural state of equality and build new institutions rooted in reason. Government founded on a moral theory of a system of universal peace on the indefeasible hereditary rights of man is now revolving from west to east. It interests not particular individuals, but nations in its progress and promises a new era to the human race. This new era would be characterized by democratic republics with universal male suffrage and with the state taking responsibility for the care of the young, old and infirm. Burke's vision of where the revolution was heading was darker. The improvements of the French National Assembly are superficial, their errors fundamental. Chaos, disorder and eventually military dictatorship would follow and these would not be contained to France. It is a war between the partisans of the ancient, civil, moral and political order of Europe against a sect of fanatical and ambitious atheists which mean to change them all. It is a sect aiming at universal empire, beginning with the conquest of France. The descent of the French Revolution into the terror and the rise of Napoleon can be interpreted as proving Burke right, but Paine counted that the principles of the revolution were sound, they had just not been applied fully and properly. You see what mischief ensued in France by the possession of power before they understood principles. They earned liberty in words, but not in fact.